What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Got the Poet Live in Effect, like I always am. And look at this view. Y'all see this view? All these trees. It's amazing out here. So, Charlotte has been treating us well so far. Me and Lyric is here. You want to say hi? So, <laughs> so we are here and um, we're getting ready to go take over the sneaker exit. Um, I'm excited about this event. Um, it's a lot of great things that are happening. I just feel it. And then Lyric has a new venture. So you guys are not going to see this. You guys are going to see this after the fact. So if you see something that you like, just let us know. We can work it out. She drew this and painted this. And she's going to sell these today. Um, and she drew this and painted this as well. And she's going to sell this today. So both of these are going to sell out today. So, um... If you guys want a picture like that, let me know. We can figure all that out. So um, enough about that. Um, once we get to the venue, I'm going to show y'all the setup and all that. And um, we have to be at the venue in an hour and 20 minutes. It is currently 8.09, 8.10, something like that. So we're getting ready to leave here in like 5, 10 minutes. Go check out the hotel. Go get something to eat. And then head to the venue. Um, and hopefully possibly be one of the first people there so all right y'all see y'all soon all right y'all so we literally first in line empty venue i don't play y'all let's get it what's going on everybody so we are here live at the sneaker exit in charlotte north carolina playing around to show everything we're not actually the whole venue. We're not actually open up for business yet, but there are vendors that are coming around and they are basically doing what they got to do. So we are here, like I said, to take over. We're trying to make as much money as possible today, trying to do as much business, build enough, build a lot of networking, uh, connect with more businesses, connect with new clients and all of that. And we also got a new venture. Check this out. So my daughter who's filming, she actually painted this and these will be going on sale today. We're gonna see how it goes. So we're gonna get as much footage as we can for you guys. If we don't get a lot of footage, as always, I'll do a recap at the end. So I appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So we are probably like two or three hours into the event. I just wanted to come on here and give y'all a little update. We do have people in the booth right now um i stepped away so they could you know what i'm saying do their shopping or whatever but i wanted to give y'all a little update on what's going on i know i don't normally do that in the video so i thought i'd do that right here so and yo it is packed y'all see what it is it's kind of crazy in here so let me get out here and do some work all right all right y'all so we have just finished and wrapped up uh sneaker exit in charlotte we are actually getting ready to drive back yes i'm on my grind i'm coming back the same day it's a four and a half hour drive but we're currently getting ready to stop and grab some food and then hit the road so um once i get back and i get everything settled in i'm going to actually go over my opinion on how everything went i gotta definitely do some numbers and all that but um i i, I feel like it was a good show but uh, i'm gonna give y'all a full review at the end of the the video um like i always do um but yo thank you to sneaker exit and let's get it going i'll see y'all in the next scene all right y'all what's going on we are back we are back in richmond we're here we're doing what we gotta do and yo i'm just giving y'all a quick recap maybe one two minutes of just talking about the sneaker exit and let y'all know my personal opinion on it and if i would do it again as a vintage vendor all right so here it is um we got there as you guys saw we were the first people in line to actually get our passes set up and all of that my daughter decided to do a new venture as you guys saw in the video where she painted portraits of sneakers uh she drew them and painted them and decided to sell them um at these events so i encouraged her to do that i actually invested a little bit of money to help her get that business off the ground and hopefully she builds and grows with that so let's get right into the vending part of it all right like i tell you guys every time i do an event 
I do not sell clothing. I sell my personality. I sell an experience, all right? So with that being said, I'm gonna greet every customer that walks into my booth or even just walks by the booth. I'm gonna hand them a business card, tell them who I am, tell them my business name, and tell them the purpose of my business. And this is a little spill. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay. I have a business called Shop Lyrics Boutique, and we sell new, gently used, and vintage items. We sell anything from shoes, hats, to t-shirts, jerseys, and hoodies. If you have any questions, let me know. And oh, most importantly, everything is negotiable. I say that almost every time because I feel like if you if you put your business out there, you give them a description of what you sell, they might walk away because you might not have what they want. All right, but nine times out of 10, they're gonna see what I'm selling. I have racks of clothing, racks. I have three to four racks with me at all times when I'm doing these events. So um, enough about that part. Um, me, I did everything I could to greet people. I did everything, as you saw, I was doing a little recap video while people was in my booth. And I wanted to show you that there was people, there was there was a lot of foot traffic. So doing these events, it definitely gets your name out there. It definitely pushes people to your business and it helps your business grow as well. Um, just recently, uh, last night, I believe, uh, somebody from the Atlanta show, not the Charlotte show, the Atlanta show, was DMing me on Instagram asking me about certain shirts and we're gonna come up with a deal, hopefully um, Monday or Tuesday and go from there. So I'm, I'm definitely working, and today is currently Thursday. The only reason why we haven't came up with a deal now, because he has a busy weekend, he's gonna be a sneaker con this weekend of this video that's put, being put out. So, um, yes or no, would I do the sneaker exit again? I believe I would, um, and the reason why I say that is because there's always do's and don'ts for these events. Um, every time I do an event, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's not bad to me. It's still good because I wouldn't be making money if I wasn't there. All right. So let me just put that out there. Uh, number two, uh, I believe there are some tweaks that I need to do with my pricing. Um, sometimes with my approach as well. Uh, I'm very eager to give someone a better deal if they buy bigger, uh, more items. And I mean bigger, a bigger bulk buy. Let's say they buy on one or two items. All right, cool, I'll give you a smaller discount. But if you're buying five or 10, maybe 20, I'll give you a better deal as well. Um, so yeah, I would definitely do it again. Shout out to Sneaker Exit. And the last thing I wanna say is the person who runs the Sneaker Exit uh, Instagram, I met them in person and they were amazing. When I tell you they took care of me to the point where I have questions when I do these events out of town because I wanna make sure everything that I'm doing is lining up with my purpose for my business. So they answered everything promptly. They even hooked me up with a little bit bigger space, not too bigger, but it, it, it was definitely enough space for me to do what I had to do in. Um, also, very professional. Uh, when I got there, uh, I, I'm assuming they overheard uh, the name of my business and they recognized it and was like, hey, I'll help him out. And they took care of me 1000%. Customer service was amazing. I have no complaints about the sneaker exit. If you want to do these events, just try it. If it's not for you, cool. But I say try it because you never know if it's gonna work in your favor. With all that being said, thank y'all for rocking with me. It's been real. It's your boy, Jay Got the Poet. I'm out. And hit that like and subscribe, man. Peace.